In a stunning decision, a federal judge in San Diego ruled last night that undocumented immigrant children can no longer be separated from their parents, something which had been occurring as a result of the zero-tolerance policy enforced by the Trump administration. The decision went on to demand a timetable. All children who are currently separated from their parents must be reunited in 30 days, and children under the age of five must be returned within 14 days. The judge also ordered that parents be allowed to speak by phone with their children within the next 10 days. But as immigration rights activists hailed last night's decision, the president was also celebrating an immigration victory of his own from the Supreme Court. Yesterday, in a 5-4 decision, the court upheld President Trump's travel ban. That ban had been in effect since December, when the justices reversed lower court decisions that had blocked part of the ban from being enforced. The ban applies to five mostly Muslim countries, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Syria, and Yemen, and also affects North Korea and some Venezuelan government officials and their families. In response to the ruling, the president said this. Just coming out, a tremendous success, a tremendous victory for the American people and for our Constitution. This is a great victory for our Constitution. Still, the most critical focus by opponents of the administration's immigration initiatives remains on the more than 2,000 children that have been separated at the border. What of them? Lawyer Moms of America, a grassroots volunteer group with almost 15,000 members formed in response to the administration's zero tolerance policy, is demanding, quote, a just and humane resolution to the ongoing crisis of families seeking asylum in the U.S. Earlier today, Jenna Flanagan caught up with Lawyer Moms of America's New York State Captain, Morgan Richardson. So Morgan, I'd like to welcome you to the program. And first, I just want to give our uh, viewers an understanding. How did this organization come together? Um, well, so Lawyer Moms of America, it was started by four friends on Facebook who actually were virtual friends, um, attorneys from another lawyer mom group. Usually in that group, we're complaining about, you know, what it's like to be a lawyer and juggle <laughs> our kids and um, social activities activities and things, but um, once the, uh, the, pub the policy was announced, mm -hmm. uh, more and more of our members started becoming concerned. So four of our members broke off, started Lawyer Moms of America, and really uh, the organization has existed for about two weeks. Oh, um, so this is a fairly new organization. It, yes. So from those four, we now have over 15,000 members nationwide. So and that's a huge growth in a very short amount of time. But what exactly are you working towards? Um, our goal right now is, and our primary focus is on June 29th, um, our day of action, where we are issuing an open letter to Congress um, to ask them to uh, initiate legislation that will end the separation of children from their families, that will end family detention, and that will reunite the children that have already been separated um, with their parents. Now, with that in mind, of course, I have to ask, so two things have happened in those two <laughs> weeks. One, uh, the president has already issued an executive order that's supposed to uh, stop at least any further for family separations at the border, one. And then two, we just had a federal judge uh, determine that these families need to be reunited. And you set time limits. I believe it was 30 days for the older children, mm -hmm. children who are under five. It was like 14 days. Yes. Um, so there are different types of actions happening. Mm -hmm. The executive order is the president issuing a, a, a command, basically saying this is what's going to happen. Um, but it fell short, in our opinion, and also in the district court judge's opinion. Um, it didn't go far enough. It didn't say, how are we going to re reunite these children with their parents? Who's responsible for doing that? Um, under the executive order, it almost leaves the parents responsible for finding and locating their children. Um, so that was a problem, and that's addressed in our open letter to Congress. We're asking that legislation be put forward so that these agencies that have the children are going to be responsible. And that's something that the district court judge um, also did. Mm -hmm. uh, that. That court decision says very clearly, you are agencies of our government, you're responsible for the separation, and therefore you need to be responsible for reuniting the children with their parents. So then does your organization then sort of, uh, are you working to sort of push um, at least the judge's decision forward or to hold 
Congress's feet a little bit further to the fire. Oh, absolutely. We want to put as much pressure on Congress right now as possible to keep the pressure on. Um, things are moving in the right direction. That doesn't mean you stop. You keep pushing the ball in the right direction or else you're never going to get there. So legislation is vitally important to prevent further executive orders from undoing the executive order that he's already issued, which is a possibility, um, because you can issue an executive order today, you can issue one tomorrow that says the exact opposite. Um, and like we saw with the travel ban executive order, mm -hmm. um, there were three iterations of that, yes. and they kept getting stri stricken and stricken, and now there's one that has stuck. So we want legislation because we want laws passed that will prevent this and that will create immigration reform. All right, um, I'm gonna have to leave that there for a moment and turn it to uh, the Supreme Court's decision on the president's travel ban. Does your organization have any sort of stand on this? All of it tied together, the separation of children, the sort of attack on um, migrants who want to come here legally or, you know, seek asylum here, um, plus the travel ban is really speaking to what this administration is about. And I, it's it's troubling to us, I think, as, as mothers and lawyers, what are we saying? We, we don't want anyone coming to our country. And so just one more time before I let you go, uh, you guys are going to be going to Congress on Friday the 29th? Yes. So we have volunteers um, throughout 25 states, and we will be visiting at least 180 different congressional offices. Uh, in D.C., we will have a rally. And if someone has not made it to a, their state representative, because we're only covering 25 states at this point based on just volunteers alone, um, we, will, we will be delivering that letter to their office in D.C. Well, listen, Morgan, thank you so much for joining us on the program and letting us know all of the work that your organization is doing on behalf of these immigrant children. Thank you so much. Thank you.